Hello, I am Mo, a staff software engineer at Databricks. Delta sharing is the industry's first open source approach to data sharing across data, analytics, and AI. This means you are not locked into any specific vendor or platform. Delta sharing from Databricks allows for two types of sharing. D2O, Databricks to Open, and D2D, Databricks to Databricks. D2O enables secure sharing with external users who may not be on Databricks. Additionally, D2O provided a simple and fast way to share data using better tokens. Now, with secure open sharing with OpenID Connect, we offer a more secure authentication mechanism that minimizes exposure risks. Let me quickly highlight the two supported scenarios, user to machine, U2M, where users authenticate via their IDP to access shared data. And two scenarios under machine to machine, M2M, where systems authenticate without user intervention. Today, I will walk you through a user to machine flow. Imagine a scenario where a data provider wants to share sales performance data with a recipient organization. The recipient organization requires this data to be accessed in Power BI only by authorized users within their intra-ID tenant. Here is how this process unfolds. Let's start with the recipient organization, which needs to identify the users or groups from their IDP who should be authorized to access the shared data. In this example, the recipient is using intra-ID and will collect two key pieces of information their intra-ID tenant ID and the group ID that identifies the users authorized to access the shared data. The recipient will then share this information with the provider. Let's switch to the provider side. In this step, the provider configures a Delta share for the recipient with access governed by their identity provider, intra-ID. First, the provider configures a Delta share to share performance sales data. Next, they create an open OIDC recipient and then grant access to the Delta share to this recipient. To control access, the provider uses two critical pieces of information shared by the recipient, typically over email or other secure channel. Their intra-ID tenant ID and the group ID representing authorized users. Using this information, the provider defines an OIDC federation policy that enforces access based on the recipient's intra-ID configuration. This ensures that only authorized users from the recipient organization can access the shared data. Once everything is set up, the provider generates an OIDC profile endpoint URL and shares it with the recipient. Now let's move to the recipient side. Here an end user, someone who is authorized within the recipient organization, opens Power BI to begin accessing the shared data. They start by setting up a new connection using the Delta sharing data source, which allows secure access to external data set. The user opens the OIDC web portal in a browser using the link shared by the provider. When they proceed, Power BI launches a browser window, redirecting the user to their organization's intra-ID for authentication. In this flow, authentication is federated to intra-ID, meaning the user must authenticate through their organization identity provider before accessing the shared dataset. The user signs in using their organizational credentials. If intra-ID configuration enforces multi-factor authentication, the user will be prompted to complete that step before logging in. Once authenticated, the user can view and interact with the performance sales data set directly within Power BI and begin querying the data provided by the data provider. Thank you for watching this demo.